Peace and blessings to everybody out there. Welcome back to the Fake Quote Podcast. This is your boy, Bobby Villain. I'm back with another video. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, share um, my content. Um, I'm on multiple platforms, YouTube, Twitter, so forth and so on, Gab, BitChute. But um, today's topic, <sighs> trans... Transgender, transphobic comments. Demi Lovito and her comments, she feel like gender reveals are transphobic. She feels like gender is not based off of your genitalia. And I'm here to chime in. Um, and what made me speak about this topic is the Owen Stevens situation. Um, this gentleman... He he's attending an educational program, a teaching program in New York, uh, State University of New York. Uh, that's the school that he's going to. Um, now, the gentleman sat there and he stated that a man is a man, a woman is a woman. A woman can be a man and a man can be a woman. And he's receiving slack for his comments. Um... And to be honest, like, is there freedom of expression and freedom of speech anymore? Yeah, to a certain extent, it is. So let's take it as such, right? The LGBTQ community, they have the right to express themselves sexually, uh, verbally, um, when it when it comes to their ideology, they can express their ideology freely, right? Without any, without any pushback. Without no pushback, right? They're able to the, to express themselves. They're able to exercise their free speech without any pushback. Because if you push back, you're considered homophobic, you're considered transphobic, you're considered whatever other phobia they have in the book, right? But when you go based off of actual science, actual biology, you run the risk of being quote unquote deplatformed, you run the risk of Losing out or getting suspended from your educational program that will put you in the position to be a teacher. And that's what happened to Owen Stevens. He was removed. He was suspended from his edu his teaching program due to the fact that he had a couple of videos that went against what they're trying to make the social norm. They're trying to they're trying to completely get rid of binary gender um, gender identification, but the thing is binary binary uh, parts uh, binary really is predicated towards technology. Like if we're being honest here, when you are born, when you are conceived. You're either going to have the X chromosome or you're going to have the XY chromosome. The Y chromosome specifies that you will have the male apparatus, the male genitalia. The X chromosome, you'll have the female genitalia. And to go to what Demi Lovito said, that people aren't, gender is not, identified by your genitalia it is identified by your genitalia and the reason why i say that it's all based off your chromosome that's just what it is now i know this is a touchy subject a lot of people is not going to share this video but that's just what it is the truth will always come to light regardless of what topic it is and for people to sit there and label this man's comments as transphobic, 
because he expressed himself freely stating that a man is a man and a woman is a woman who are we to go against actual biology who are we to put our spin on what an actual male and female is now i understand everybody's like my pronouns are are them and they and Y'all got your pronouns in your bio. Y'all got the rainbow flag in your bio. I understand. But like, if we're being honest here. Do y'all actually accept reality for what it is? Because from the most part, from looking on the outside in, and even speaking to some people that are a part of this community, the LGBTQ community so, some people like to throw the p on there the p is for pedophilia but we'll get into that in a whole nother video but if, even speaking to some people that is a part of this community some of the things that i brought to their attention they don't even agree with it's like this situation like y'all have the right to freedom freely express yourselves but nobody else don't. Y'all got the right to say whatever the hell y'all want towards heterosexual people, but we can't speak about y'all culture or ideology or whatever the case may be. That's the problem. That's the problem. There is a agenda. There is a, a agenda being pushed, regardless if you pay attention to it or not. There is be, there is an agenda being force fed. To the masses. Now, if we're being truthful about the situation, truthful about this topic that is a very controversial topic because nobody want to touch it because they feel like they'll be quote unquote canceled. It's all complete bullshit because it's it's like, okay, we can say whatever the hell we want. Y'all can't say it. We could comment on y'all lifestyle. Y'all can't comment on our lifestyle. And now, like, let's, be, let's keep it truthful. Let's keep it truthful. Nobody gives a shit about what you do behind closed doors. The fact that a lot, the fact that now in this day and age that we're leading with your sexual preference before the actual person that you are is a problem. That is a problem. That is a problem. Why are you leading with your sexual preference? We don't care about your sexual preference. That has nothing to do with you as a person. You could keep that behind closed doors and you can still get your point across with what type of character you have, what type of morals you have. Morals is not gender or pronouns exclusive. Your character define who you are, not your sexual preference. So why are we constantly leading with our sexual preference? I'm a heterosexual black man. Why does it matter if I like to sleep with women? Why does it matter if I like fucking threesomes? Why does it matter if I like fucking sucking toes or some weird ass shit like that? Like, why does it matter? Why is my sexual preference being highlighted? Why is it being amplified? Because you're trying to make a nation of fucking degenerates and you're trying to confuse the populace. You're trying to make everybody fearful of speaking their truth. Nobody gives a shit about what you do behind closed doors. Nobody gives a fuck if you want to cut your genitalia off. But don't, don't press, don't press the issue when it comes to trying to label somebody a phobia. Like, if we're being honest, majority of the people that do get labeled either homophobic or fatphobic or whatever, 
They don't even have a fear of these people. They don't even have a genuine hate. What this man said had nothing, was nowhere near hateful. He was going based off of biology. Now, I could understand if he sat there and said, transgender people are, are, are the fucking devil or some shit like that. I understand if he said some shit like that. Okay, like, it's no point of even trying to, it's no point of even trying to back that comment because it was hateful. What he said was, a man is a man and a woman is a woman. That goes based off of a lot of people's Bibles. Even the people that sit here and, 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 and even the people that is a part of this community. That they are religious. There's some, there's some people that is a part of this community. They're, they're religious. And it says that in your Bible. If, the, if it hasn't been um, reworded for the umpteenth time. That's just what it is, yo. If you feel like later on down the line that you're not supposed to be the gender that you are, okay, by all means, go ahead and do what you need to do. Nobody's, nobody cares. Nobody cares. But in today's society, we put too much emphasis on your sexual preference. What a person does behind closed doors should not be your business. What they do in their bedroom should not be their, your business. You should not have to lead with your sexual preference. The only people that truly and utterly hate this community, the LGBTQ community, are people that are closet, that, that's in the closet. There are closet gays, there are closet transsexuals or, or cross-dressers and so forth and so on. Those are the only people that truly hate these people. People that that are a part of your community, they don't want it to be known that they're a part of your community. Besides that, ask a, ask a heterosexual man if he really gives a fuck about if you taking dick in your ass or if you or if you a, a fucking carpet muncher. They don't care. It's not. It, stop leading with your sexual preference and let people speak their mind freely. Because you're trying to push this agenda on us, and you're trying to force it down our throats. It's not transphobic to have a fucking gender reveal. Your genitalia, your chromosomes, identify you. Uh, as a female or a male specimen. That's just what it is. You're trying to confuse the masses because you, let's be honest, a lot of y'all aren't in tune with reality. Y'all don't want to be in tune with your reality. It's a lot of shit that's at play. There's a lot of chemicals out there that's within your food that affects your thymus gland, that is in control of your hormones. They was pushing soy on your ass for the for how many fucking years? Come to find out soy produces phytoestrogen that cannot be broken down by the body. So you got men out here that constantly indulge in soy, growing man boobs, man titties. But besides that, what that man said wasn't wrong. He didn't say nothing hateful. Just because somebody got conservative views or a conservative ideology or dogma don't make that person necessarily a bad person. And it's the same thing that goes with liberal. You got a liberal ideology or you follow a liberal dogma that don't necessarily make you the enemy or a bad person. We just don't see eye to eye on certain situations. That's just all it is.